Good morning. It's Thursday, August 29th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Intercessor, and our scripture is 1 Timothy chapter 2. I urge you, Paul writes, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them, intercede on their behalf, and give thanks for them. The word intercede is one of those nouns that really screams to be a verb. To intercede in Bible times meant to plead with a king on behalf of a friend. In our application, the real sense is to be. It's to be involved, in between, standing in the gap. The cosmetic world's Estee Lauder said that most women don't wear enough perfume. They always think they should just dab a little on the wrists and the pulse points. Not so, says the lady. She says the best way to apply fragrance is to spray the air in front of you and walk into it. Wearing perfume is a little like loving. You can't be stingy. You have to use it abundantly. And it just may be that Estee Lauder has given the best illustration of interceding for others in prayer. We must fill our entire existence with the presence of God and the problems which plague the one for whom we pray and walk in it abundantly. Giving thanks for the ones you pray for is an act of gratitude. Prayer is an active thing. It's part of a lifestyle rather than a ritual. Part of every believer's daily or hourly living ought to be an active, vibrant attitude of gratitude for God and fellow men and women. Let's face it, if we're of the belief that everything happens under the control of God and he's engineering it for our good, according to Romans 8:28, then we must be thankful for all of it. We must be thankful even when we cannot understand what God is doing in our lives. There are things I didn't understand when I was younger. I couldn't understand, for instance, how some childhood bullies I knew were not incinerated by lightning for their ways. How could I be thankful for them? I didn't understand it why my dad had to work the graveyard shift. He was working at night when I wanted him home. But my lack of understanding at that point didn't change the fact that it was his love for his family that made him work just to keep food on the table. I admire him now, understanding his sacrifice. I admire his being there at ball games to cheer for me when he was probably exhausted from working those late hours. And I confess it's difficult for me to be thankful for mosquitoes and chiggers, but I'll praise him now and ask him why when I get home. Believers in and followers of Jesus Christ live a lifestyle of intercession, praying and giving thanks for one another. For you today, if you're a person who has a relationship with God the Father because in faith you asked his son Jesus to forgive your sins and the Holy Spirit has placed you in the body and you recognize that it's time to get in the battle and the front of the battle is where you're called and you're ready to follow your captain Jesus wherever he leads, this is what we say. Come, come and die with us. Die with us in the prayer room. Come stand in the gap for your brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Come stand in the gap as we pray for marriages and children. Come stand in the gap as we storm the gates of hell against drugs and alcohol and all the habits that enslave and impoverish and kill in our communities. Come stand in the gap for your neighbors, our president and all leaders, and for missionaries around the world. Come stand in the gap against sin and powers of the air and wickedness in high places. Come, intercessor, come stand in the gap. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.